this baby was one crazy kid. But he grew up. Hey! Into a real troublemaker. Yes. Hey, I'm Dexter. Wanna play? Whoa, nice hat. I'm like a king. No, you're just a little rascal, but we'll straighten you out. Let's make a wig cap. I want red hair. Okay, glue wool to the base. He needs a haircut. His mohawk is so tall. And his temples are cut short. You can see his red hair from miles away. Draw eyebrows. His face is covered in freckles. Let's make jeans. Left and right. And they look cute. But he's always getting in trouble. <laughs> so his new jeans are torn up soon. Let's make a cool bomber jacket. <laughs> what are these numbers? Yes. <laughs> what a coincidence. 13 is Dexter's favorite number. Sick. <laughs> wow. Dexter hates Monday mornings. Ugh, not school again. Good morning. I don't want to get up. Breakfast or a leftover burger? Uh, good enough. I have to get dressed too. Hmm, what? How? I can't get my t-shirt on. <sighs> oh, I'll go back to sleep. Hey, what's going on? Go to school. But Lucy, my bed is so soft. Go to school right this second. Or do I have to throw you out the window? Let me stay home and watch TV. <laughs> You're gonna get expelled for being absent. Go now. <sighs> Dexter has been in a bad mood all day. Only pulling pranks can cheer him up. Oops, this trash can lay down for a nap. <laughs> Gross. Oh, whose braid is this? Ouch! Oh, Dexter, don't you dare. Helen is the exact opposite of Dexter. Wipe off her makeup and then redo it. And here she is. Her satin ribbon hair looks beautiful. Amazing. Make two neat braids. This gray jersey fabric will make a cute top. Cut out the pieces. Toss them in a box with a needle and thread. Shake it and voila, it's done. <laughs> A print dress is a wardrobe staple. She has a lace collar, too. Wow! Her black foam paper shoes are always clean and tidy. Helen would rather be smart than stylish. Mm-hmm. Helen is a really smart girl, and she gets straight A's. She's always reading. She takes a break to do some math, then back to reading. Where's the biology encyclopedia? She came up to the bookshelf, reached up, and accidentally knocked over all these books. Oh, what was I looking for? I'll read them all. <sighs> she fell asleep. Her brother Patrick came to her to tell her it's bedtime. Oh. But he saw that she was already asleep, and he even carried her to bed. Good night. We can reuse these soda bottle caps. Trim them. Apply glue and connect the halves. Cut the glued caps. Wrap the edges with long foam paper strips. Add teeth. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ooh, a mystery flavor. Cut long balloons. Wow, so much gum. It looks just like Hubba Bubba. Dexter loves chewing gum. It makes him look so cool. What about the chewed stuff? He's too lazy to throw it away, so he sticks it everywhere. The whole school is his canvas. He even chews gum at home. He's practicing for a bubblegum competition. I'm gonna break the world record, look out! The giant bubble popped. Everything is covered in gum. Oops, my sister's gonna be mad. Helen read too much before bed. Make lenses out of clear plastic. They look good. Black hot glue makes a great frame. Cut it out. Almost done. Make arms out of wire. 
The color is perfect. No more squinting. Helen is holding her book so close to her face. No, that should be X, not Y. <sighs> Helen throws the paper without even seeing where it goes. Hey, sis, what's up? Patrick, I can't see all that well. It's okay, you just need glasses. Oh, wow. Wow, I can see again. Now Helen can see the paper, so she throws it away properly. <laughs> nice glasses, kids. <laughs> Make a sphere out of a plastic container. Cut out an opening and file it. The helmet fits Dexter perfectly. Prime it, then paint it yellow. Okay, let's see how it looks. Awesome! A foam paper face shield will be done in a minute, too. Wow! Now the uniform. We have a vest. Make blocks of styrofoam. There'll be shoulder and knee pads to keep him safe in case he falls or gets hit. Wow! The top is blue and the pants are white. Yo! Dexter can't wait to play. The forward is rushing down the field with the ball. And Dexter gets the win! Cut bag pieces out of fake leather. Abracadabra! And the bag made itself! Nice bag! Add accent pieces. And a handle and loops. This bag will hold all your books for sure. Helen is always studying in the library. There are so many interesting books. Sis, come eat. Oh, what a cute bag. Helen rushes to get ready, but she shouldn't shove her books into her bag like that. I can't carry them all. Take my bag. Thanks. Everything fit, yay! The school team won nationals. Woohoo! Dexter gets the trophy. He won first place. Great job! His sister is waiting for him at home. Look what I got. Where? I won it. Wow. What do we do with it? It's pretty big. Hmm, I know. We can use it for soda. <laughs> nice. This is my favorite cup now. Make a pommel horse out of styrofoam and stuffing. Cover it with fake leather. Get ready to jump and pop. Paint them metallic. Done. Make a bridge. Connect springs to the surface. This will help you jump high. Helen is good at everything except PE. I'd rather read a hundred books than do one squat. I'm terrified of this. Come on, I'm so energetic. I have to burn it off by working out. Watch what I can do. That's amazing. And he's getting some exercise. Helen decided to jump. She took a deep breath. But failed. <sighs> you handle the pommel horse, and I'll help you with homework. OK. They ran, jumped, and worked up a good sweat. It's all about the right motivation. Dexter goes first. Then Helen. Yay! I made it! Good job! Awesome! Now let's see the homework. What a great team! All of this stuff is so confusing. I'm tired of reading. Is Dexter studying? Put the pages together. Glue the base. The cover makes it seem like this book is really complicated stuff. Dexter brought another bad grade home. Then he goes to play video games. Not studying again. Lazy. Oops. You're grounded. No more computer. Study. Fine. Whatever. Dexter reluctantly heads to the library to study for the retake. Hey, Dexter. Come help me get a book from the top shelf. 
He got distracted and ah. lost his balance. Ouch! The textbook gave him a good bunk. Maybe it's because of that, but he really likes her. Mm -hmm. They studied together all day long. <laughs> <laughs> and he passed. Yay! I didn't know I could do this. Great job. You really wanted it. I'll hang this up like a poster. Patrick is enjoying his favorite book. Lucy is skating around. She got distracted and went the wrong way. Here comes the boom. Uh-oh, they fell. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Patrick doesn't need his glasses to see that this is his soulmate. Lucy sees it too. Opposites attract. It's a happy ending. <laughs>